Hello, everybody, and welcome to another... <laughs> Let me do it, McCray. Okay, go for it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Diary Room Open Mic. Nailed it. That was great. So, McCray, we took a little break. So glad that we're back doing Diary Room Open Mic. It's nice to see you again. I feel <laughs> like I haven't seen you in a month. I know. It's been so gloomy in Minnesota. It's been nightmare. It's been horrible. If you guys don't live in the Midwest or at least near Minnesota, just for reference, it's not been over 60 degrees this year. <laughs> and it is, what, April 4th? Six, six today seventh? yeah that's pathetic it's i'm so embarrassed fa- yes it's so depressing i feel like we talk about it every time we start off we do but talk like, about the weather a lot <laughs> but, but it has not gone over 60 degrees this year and it's been rainy and sleeting like some days you'll be like oh it's fine we'll have a little shower and it'll start to rain and then all of a sudden you'll see huge cotton <laughs> balls come from the sky and it was snowing on the way here today i was like i just want to <laughs> snow every day i want to sleep today but it's been snowing since january yes i mean yes it's really crushing uh, my spirits. Uh, yeah, it's just been rough, but we're here, which is good. I'm headed to the Caribbean on Saturday, so. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, I mean, let's let's talk about that. Yeah, we have been gone for a little bit. You are extremely busy. Yes. You've got stuff going on. Um, we will probably be taking another week to two weeks maybe after this as well yes. because you are in prime Yeah, I sell selling. real estate if you don't know and it's spring and I've got tons of listings coming out and my clients need me. So yeah. I'm going to be really busy for the next two weeks. And, you know, like with our podcast, I think like with Big Brother stuff, we have to be a lot more consistent and on Absolutely. top of it. But with Survivor, I feel like we can take a couple episodes and yeah. be like, all right, let's look at this as a whole. Yeah, right. we don't we don't have to be updating it every week we do but, not um but yes i think after april we're going to start hitting up more uh guests to be on the show so we yes. have some more consistent so content. comment below if you have any guests that you want to see on our mm-hmm. podcast and also if you guys know of any drama that's going in on around the big brother survivor reality tv communities make sure you comment to us make sure you make sure that we're aware of it so we can i'm talk always about aware it. of the drama i feel Come i know I feel, I, I feel like I i'm pretty good on drama. it too i, I know thrive. <laughs> Well, should we get to some drama? Let's do it. Let's talk about <laughs> all the BB gossip. There's some good stuff that we missed. Okay, let's talk about the biggest <laughs> piece of juicy gossip. Yes. The Todrick Hall real estate scandal. Debacle. The real estate swindle. <laughs> it's a swindle. What do you think about it? Because you're in the you're in both of these areas, Big Brother and real estate. Yeah, so I mean I remember watching his home tour and I was like, damn, it's like, and I don't know what dancers make. I don't know what he does. So it's kind of like a questionable thing anyway. It's like, well, maybe he just gets paid a lot. Like, whatever. You're like, okay, good for, I was like, good for him. Like, that's amazing. You Mm -hmm. always, I sell to tons of young people and it's always so nice to see young people to be able to purchase their first home. And it's like a very emotional moment. Absolutely. And like for him to... And if you guys don't know, he has been in trouble. He has been served papers, apparently, mm-hmm. because he did not buy his $20 million house. This He's actually <laughs> renting it, and he hasn't paid rent for the last two months. <laughs> and his landlord filed... Um, you know, paperwork against him, a judgment. So he's he owes them $60,000. So I was I watched the walkthrough. As soon as this came out, I was like, I need to... Find, I know that there's someone who's like, you You got to watch this walkthrough. And it was I insane. sent it to you. Did you? Oh, that's right. You did. <laughs> I was like, yeah, who is it? No, you sent it to me. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So Because I love the drama. Come <laughs> the, on. the stuff that's in his house, like a lot of that stuff, was it... Was that pre-furnished? It was just very empty. It, it uh, Like when you really look at it, it's like, mm. okay, it does kind of feel like a rental. Because rentals are very like... you. Like it's just bare bones. Yeah, it's bare. And like he he talked about like oh yeah this renting system is like I just bought this stuff to rent. I don't remember what the hell he was talking. He's like furniture. Yeah, something like that. I don't know what the hell. I mean, and it's just like I've it seen sounds. That before, but yeah, that's another swindle. No, exactly. And then there was just like uh, like spot after spot of like oh and here's another shrine dedicated to myself. I look I at it when I need to you know really humble myself. It's just like so, man. <laughs> the crazy thing is, is like it's a, it's all been a big lie. And I know he talked about it a lot on Celebrity BB, and he was like, "My house, and I got to get new furniture, His Dorothy room, and, and yeah, and all of these things that he needs, and he's got to have the money because he's got to." Well, little did we know, he didn't really want to furnish the place. He just wanted to pay his rent. Yeah, exactly. Well, and then like I saw people talking about this, like were the people that were from the cookout 
that were there. And that can also get did, you in trouble. Well, did they all, did they pay rent? Why would they pay rent? Uh, maybe he was They're like, not on hey, the lease. Guys, well, no, but maybe he's like, you guys want to throw me some money? But also then that would break the illusion that he owns that the he place. That he owns the place and So it's he his would place. never break that illusion. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, I think he's, I don't think he would ask the cookout for money. No, no probably way. not. What about that other person that was there? I can know who that was. Don't Do you, you remember though? Yeah, I don't know there who it is. There was some chick. I thought it was his assistant. Yeah, it must be his assistant. I wonder if she's getting paid. For, for oh, just to oh, be yeah, his assistant, him. but also like, does she rent also That's from him? So weird. S- there's so much to it where it's just like, it's a web of lies, and it's someone that's well, trying to build up his own vanity and it's like vanity. And yes. the interview where he was like, "This has been a lifelong dream of mine to purchase my very first home," and I know what that's like for a first-time home buyer. They're very proud. It's like absolutely, it is the American dream. Like you do want to have that moment when you buy your first place, mm-hmm. but like it was all a facade. It was all Just fake. lies. It was and for fake. who? For his YouTube for, for fans, YouTube followers, like yes. who even cares? No, and, and like that's why, like watching that thing, I was just like, I feel bad for him more than anything because he too. obviously has like a problem of like I need to be famous and I need people to recognize me, and it's like, well, now you're infamous, you know, oh you're the wrong kind of famous. And the other thing I was thinking about is like, well, no one's giving you housewarming pre- uh, presents for a rental, right? You know, like when you say I own it. Then people are going to be like, uh, and make sure you bring me stuff for housewarming, right. you know? It's like, that's an easier way to grift people than it is, you, can, you know? And not only that, but like, how stupid to think that your rent can be 30000 a month and your landlord won't go and file papers on you. Yeah. It's, it's sixty grand. Like <laughs> yeah. you best believe he's going to be like, where the fuck is my money? No shit. And and uh, yeah, him talking about how he needs this money so bad, like that's it literally, it makes sense. Uh, again, just depressing, really. It's That's sad. I know. I couldn't imagine a life where, like, that status and wealth and po- like it's that so stuff. Dumb. Like, it's so yes, it is does not it's like matter. He probably with his money could have bought uh, a sensible place or a condo. That's what pissed me off the most. It's yeah. like he could have taken his money, the thirty thousand, the one time he could have probably the few times he yeah, paid exactly. a month. Like, that's like a down payment, a huge you down know? payment. Yeah, and it's like, why don't you invest in a like reasonable price property? It doesn't even have to be in L.A. Like, uh, Rancho yes. Cucamonga sounds lovely. <laughs> exactly. To me, I'm just like, it's so stupid. To like, he could be making money right now if he just bought a like sensible place and made an investment. Put it as an Airbnb while you're in the BB house. There's so many ways to yes. make money now. And like, you can't do that if you're renting. You can't rent out your place as an Airbnb no. if you're renting. Like, that is Hello? illegal. Just yeah. like, who's advising him? No one. His mom got on Twitter during their season oh, and was geez. dumb, dumb about it. Or just like, to me, it's just like, oh, yeah. I mean, it, uh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Annoying. Um, That's too bad. I wish I just had that. Uh, like, I wish I had that much money. I don't know. Like, stupid people make so much more money than me. 30000 a month? I mean, that's like a pretty freaking. That's like what I get like, paid in a year. <laughs> that in a mortgage, you'd have to have like a tw- $20 million house. That's the mortgage. Like, on $20 million. Around thirty thousand. You have to be making so much money from YouTube just to like keep that up, you know? Like that's the only way. And that I get he it. Could there are it. YouTubers that yeah. have that down payment and they can afford a thirty thousand dollar a month mortgage. Yeah. But like they have equity and shit. Like and if things yes. go bad, they can just whatever. Yep. It's terrible. <sighs> whatever. Um, do we have any other big brother drama? Or what um, other what else? Oh, we play? have spoilers for um celeb. What, sorry, the challenge CBS. CBS All Stars is that what it's called? CBS All Stars the challenge. challenge. Okay, so we have spoiler spoilers alert. on that. So, and okay. I just watch. I don't know who I follow on Twitter, but they're very, um, very good at spoilers. We'll have to get their names so we can shout them out. Yeah, um, it's all people that I think are in my group chat too. So, I think the first person they said that is gone is Tiffany. Bummer. Yep. And bum, sad to see her go because mm. I wanted to see her do really, really well. She's um, a strong, like, competitor. Or, like, she's strong mentally. She's strong physically. Like, she's what you want in, like, a good competitor. A good competition. Yeah. And then I heard that Xavier is the second. Oh, really? And then I heard that Oz, Aza is the third. Just, like, everyone in the cookout. So it's everyone Bye. in the cookout getting targeted. Bye. Which, I mean... On the flip side, if you are a place a player like Tyson from Survivor or Sarah from Survivor and you don't really have anyone from your season mm-hmm. or anyone from even the show that you're on for the last 
Like there's only so many survivor people. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. They don't even know each other. Yeah. Like and survivor people, I'm like, if I was a survivor person, I'd be like, I'm teaming up with the Amazing Race people too. There's a well, million there's, Big Brother people here. There's we not need very to, many Amazing Race either. Well, so that's why you have to build those numbers or whatever. Yeah. So I mean, probably what I'm guessing is Amazing Race and Survivor got together and they were like, mm-hmm. we need to go after the Big Brother people. Mm-hmm. That's way too big of an alliance to break. So we got to start chipping away at this. Well, and I always think about it from season seven where yeah. it's like season six had a four block I was, group i was part of that block no I that, was, exactly that's I the was best the head block of the snake. <laughs> <laughs> but like that's the thing where it's like man if you guys walked into my house i'd be like we need to get them out do not make yeah. deals fuck every one of you guys yes. bye like i'm sorry you were just on tv you guys can go home now like right. i would be like yeah that's how i'd play it and i think that's how they should play it and that's what they should. I mean, it sounds like that's what they did. Um, oh my gosh. Do you, yeah. Who else is? Is it? How I, far are they into it? Well, and I know Alyssa and DX are on as well, and they're from <clears> the same season. So there's truly five people from one season, which just seems so lopsided so to me. It's so stupid because, I mean, the cookout and also DX and Alyssa might be feeling a little bit like annoyed because. Their target's going to be bigger regardless because mm-hmm. perception's everything. And people yep. are going to be like, they're, even if Alyssa and DX were not in that alliance, they could be. Guilt by association. Yes. 100%. Perceived to be with them. Yep. Uh, and like, yeah, and you'd close. have to. As long as they're in Big Brother, I'd want to get out every Big Brother person yeah. if I was on, if I was Tyson, you know. And Hell yeah. I'm rooting for Tyson. I know, to me too. That's exactly. He's like my favorite <laughs> survivor player ever. Yeah. Blood versus Water is like one of my favorite seasons. Uh, usually when I'm like, oh yeah, like I know Big Brother people on here. It's just like, I'll root for them. But this time I'm like, I don't know any of them. I'm I gonna don't root care. For Big Brother. I have to. But then like secretly, like but I really want Tyson to win. It's basically. And I want Leo to win too. Anyone from Big Brother that's not from the last season? No, I don't think really? there is. So then, yeah. Oh, yeah, like, there is David. How did David get on the show? <laughs> we talked about that already. Like, who's yeah. trying to make David no, happen? I don't think Who I'm rooting for any CBS? Big Brother people. What the hell? Not rooting for any Big Brother people. Uh, <laughs> there was another one, too. Oh, Enzo from my season. Oh, uh, I'll root for Enzo. Yeah, I don't like, mind Enzo. He's a good competitor. Yeah, he seems like a he decent has dude. He a problem with just growing out <laughs> yeah, all the time. All, yeah. all the time. <laughs> yep. But maybe is did what's the spoiler alert on him? Still in? Oh, he's still in. He's, maybe he him and Tyson? I could definitely see him and Tyson working yep, together. Now that sure. you mentioned that. Yep. Yes. I could see it. Um yeah, anything else on Nothing on BB gossip. That'll well, be exciting. Um Do you can, want to take a commercial break? We can take a commercial break. Oh, let's do it. Hi guys. If you've always wanted to try my reality TV course. But you need a little preview first of some of the content. Or maybe you just want a quicker course. I want you guys to check out my mini course. It's a quick rundown of some of the highlights in my bigger course. And it's only half an hour and better yet, it's only $19. To find out about my mini course, you can click the link in my bio on my Instagram page, Janelle Perzina. Thanks. And we're back. We're back. (laughs) All right, so. Oh, this microphone. All right. Uh, yes. So do whatever we said in those sponsored commercials because we need new microphones. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, what else do we got to talk about? So uh, we have Survivor, obviously. Survivor. So we haven't talked about Survivor much yet. Really. No, but we're both huge fans and I mm-hmm. don't ever miss Survivor. What have you been thinking of the season so far? So I think it's better than last season. Good. Huge Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, last season sucked. Mm-hmm. And I I like I like the characters better this mm-hmm. this this season. I do too. I don't know what it, what it is about the dynamics, but they're just working together well. Mm-hmm. I know that I a... love Jonathan. He's a beast. Like, oh my god, if <laughs> I ever that's... played Survivor, I'd want to be on his tribe. <laughs> no, Are you kidding me? The dude just like carries them competition after competition, literally just like by himself. The whole He's a competition. Beast. Yeah, it's so. And funny. his backstory was so cool. Like his dad would just make him run up a mountain. Or oh something. yeah, that's right. That's yeah. so freaking crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, no, he's, yeah, I, I liked him too. I think he's going to be like a survivor player that 
is like super popular and he keeps coming yeah. back and back and back because he's got like that personality and yeah. like that star power or whatever where you're he's, like ooh. yep yeah, he's kind of got the look too of totally like, oh like this guy looks like he should be he a could survivor be, he could be like, like the aquaman but like survivor yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be the aquaman but, but be survivor, be survivor. <laughs> um yeah he uh the last episode last night's episode he got into it with uh marianne oh god i she talks way too much <laughs> yeah. i also have a problem with people that talk and talk and talk just because they can't stand silence si yes I, that shit drives me so it drives nuts. me crazy yes. my youngest daughter she has a habit of doing that i have to tell her like hey honey like so what are you even talking about girl <laughs> what what's the point of this conversation she's just babbling like on and yeah. on no there's a silence is golden you know yeah. and you should be able to like accept being silent and like internalize what but people need to rest yeah i, I, I don't know <laughs> like, to, i don't know what it is psychologically but like there's something to it of like you know like needing to be like saying something i, I don't know what it is where it's like it, people feel like it's awkward when you're silent, I guess. But to I me, love it's just like, it. No, I know. It's like, that's how you know you're comfortable with people is when you can be silent. I feel like it's like 50% of the population. Because even my mother, she talks like more than I do. And she's always talking. And I'm like, just, can I just uh, yeah. take a moment just here? Text it to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Marianne, I was I liked her a lot. And then like, I could definitely, I was relating with Jonathan where it's like, man, this would get grating. Especially this girl on, is yeah, like not no shutting food, up. no food, you know, it's like. Everything is so heightened. It's just like and she's giggling and laughing and loud. Like, it's like, oh, man. hey man, we're we're in a moment right now. We're miserable. <laughs> I just need to sleep. Yeah, uh, uh, it makes me want to cry. Um, <laughs> but uh, like the thing about her is that she's a good character at least. Or, no, like, Marianne's great. I like her as like a character yeah. or like on the show. But I can definitely see why that would have been very annoying to have Absolutely. that on the show. Someone that just constantly talks. Absolutely, and it's like it happens in Big Brother too. Are you know? It's like. I felt like the last season we did, there was not anyone that was like extremely, extremely extroverted that mm. always had to be talking. talking. Yeah. And maybe it's because like, we were returners, so we didn't need all oh, that. Yeah. We were just like, dude, this is a long game. Well, and I don't know, I guess, if it's happened may with like recent casts or whatever, but yeah, I mean, it's just, there's so much downtime, but like, yeah. there's always the people that are like telling the same stories over and over again. Oh, it's like, God. yeah, I heard this one. Shut the We already Fuck heard you. this in room, yeah. the freaking room over here. Now you're telling it again. No one cares. <laughs> and it's like, that's how people Talk go strategy, home. Bitch. That's how people go home, you know, yeah. is just by being annoying, where it's just like, I would rather live with anyone else, go home. Uh, but yeah, you gotta be careful about that. If you're gonna be applying to these shows, yeah. and you know that you're a loud person, start practicing stop <laughs> shutting the fuck up try that for you know like do, yeah. do some lessons on that shit jesus yeah um yeah I, I, she's not bad though uh, um, she's a sweet girl um i think she has you know she's very young yeah exactly like it's yeah um we talked a little bit about tori has your mind changed on tori because at I the beginning you were like i don't really care for tori but she's coming she's playing good she's playing yeah but again she comes from like the background of playing these little role-playing games and stuff like that so right. she like her getting out of danger immediately that is only good for her because yes. it gives her more time to sit and build blocks and you right. know, work magic um yeah i mean like i was down on her at the beginning but she's at least again another she's person that's player. like a player yeah. she's a good player she's definitely a player now what the heck happened last night <laughs> i'm so confused someone was like oh it's strategy okay what's the strategy why the heck did chanel vote for mike i could not figure it out i don't get it i think there must be some sort of strategy there if we I, like i I don't What's, know. Well, and then like. Well, and Mike's gonna get so pissed. He's well, that type. I saw like the screenshot of like Mike like looking back at her after the Mike or after the Mike yeah. vote was read, where it's just like he knows it's you. Like the votes are so thin that there's only five people. <laughs> like I, I don't know. It's just oh like it does not make sense. Someone please explain it to us. If you can tell us why that vote happened. Please tell us in the comments so I can figure it out because yes. literally, like, my game, or my brain, I feel like isn't built for Survivor. It's like, I feel like I'm better at Big Brother, but it's like stuff like this happens and I'm like, I don't understand. I don't get that either. I'm yeah. like, I don't, I don't get that play and I, I really am not getting it. But she, I noticed that in the first maybe two to three episodes, she got zero airtime. Yeah. In my opinion. Where, so to me, I'm I don't like, know who she was. I just know yeah. that when they say Chanel, it sounds like Janelle. <laughs> so and I'm like, like, wait, I'm not on the show. There's wait, no what? Janelle. <laughs> Chanel. <laughs> um, 
Um, yeah, it was bizarre. I don't know how good of a player it, she is. That whole tribe, she can't she's be that good bizarre. if she's doing that, right? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Right? <laughs> I don't. Unless she's like this mastermind. Well, that's and I'm thing, like missing like, something. I'm worried that someone's gonna come in and be like, "Well, oh, actually, she was trying to throw the blame around." Like, someone's gonna correct us. I hope. Yeah, actually, I hope. I hope so because I would like to know. Um, but yeah, I was like, "What is going on?" I don't understand Survivor. Just don't. It's understand. crazy. It's a crazy, uh, crazy game. Who went last night? Daniel, the lawyer. His backstory was wild. Wait, what's his backstory? He was like the leukemia kid. Oh, yeah, that's right. That was insane. Like, the pictures and stuff. I was like, that tugged at my heartstrings. Yeah. It's like, and, like, he's just like, this is what I want to do. This is the game that, or, like, I want to just be here. And then, like... He gets up in front of Jeff as Jeff's, like, about to snuff his torch, you know? And, like, he's like, I just want to experience this. I just want to, like... I love that stuff because you know that dude is such a true fan. Yeah. And then at the very, very end, he was just like... He's like, you know, if I could, I wouldn't have had leukemia. If I could, I wouldn't have got voted out. But, you know, that's the way life goes. Mm -hmm. And it's what you do with it that, you know, that's how you... Yeah. He, uh, he got himself into a pickle when yeah. he didn't stand up for what what he did yeah all he had to say was yeah i fucking did it yeah. go to rocks or whatever <laughs> yeah. i would just i would go to you gotta play poker time. or yes. you say you are yes exactly. and then they don't yeah but he he folded too quick he's not a good card player but, clearly well and that's the second time he folded basically right or like <laughs> yeah. that other time yeah it's yeah no. It's like have a backbone. You can do this. Come on now. Well, and also they have the they have the dice option now, where you can pull oh, yeah. dice. Yep. It's like that's another one where it's like I pull dice basically all the time. Yeah. Right. Because it's, it's a good chance. One out of six. Either way, you're screwed right now because <laughs> yeah, now everyone's looking else. at you because you yeah. you lied to everyone. So yep. you're gonna be screwed either way. Yeah. Right. A hundred percent. Um, so who do you think wins? I mean, it's so far out. We haven't even merged yet. But who mm. do you think's got a good shot? You know. I think that they want to point the edit towards kind of Jonathan. I know. They I'm feeling that to, too. How, when's the last time you saw a hulking man win Survivor? <laughs> it's been <clears> since <throat> the old days. I since don't know, 2003 when they single they, digits. When they had that stream of like the big men big that boys, would yeah. would win season after season after season, and then the women got smart and they started voting those guys out first, yep. and that went on for a long time. Yeah. And now we're back to this again. Exactly. But, but so we're also back to. Um, bootleg jeans so which is the same time period <laughs> is that real fashion is cyclical that, so Everything 2002 is, is back you guys 100 percent. i believe that she has some 2002 parties <laughs> some backwards uh visors and, right. yeah, well, i think that was that time um let's see what else do we have um I spoilers two things i wanted to wrap it up on um, we were going to talk about my course. Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I created a course, as you guys know, I talked a little bit on Twitter about it. Um, you know, I did a mini course, which a lot of you don't know. The mini course is super entry level, like just little bits of like little information to kind of give you a taste of what the big course is all about. But there's like 65 lessons. I spent I a year on this course. Them all. He was my editor. <laughs> he worked on it. It was insane. And it's, it's a lot of content. It's a lot of content. Yes. Like you could probably binge it in a whole night, but you'd, you'd have to go back and forth with all the lessons and like all the exercises I have you do. And it's not for like, like serious, like big brother fans, like the super fans. I know everything. I know mm. what you, you know, this is for, not for Frenchies. Not for it's not Frenchies. for Frenchie. Like yeah. this is information that it's my experience. Um, it's like everything, how to get on a reality television show and like make a career out of it. Mm -hmm. Do I agree with it? Not really, because being an influencer is super embarrassing. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I was like, a lot of people want this. Mm -hmm. So it's probably not the super fans that are like dying for this course. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people that have been taking it and loving it. It's literally and like a ton of great information. There's a lot of stuff in there where I was just like, man, I wish I would have known this. Exactly. Like, like I wish I would have known this as soon as I came off or before. Like that's so why I did the course yeah. because I remember like wanting so badly to be on Big Brother, but there was like nowhere I could find information on what I should do, how I should film it, what I should wear, what I should pack. I or mean, what to expect when like, oh yeah, the fan bases or, you know, like stuff like everything. psychological. Yeah, exactly. I There's even go so over much. like mental health and like the yes. doctors. That's I go over, the stuff where it's like, I go I over wish I known. legal shit. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm a huge nerd. Like I go over legal yeah. documents yeah. 
and I tell you what to pack. And it's not just for Big Brother. Mm -hmm. It's for like Love Island Survivor. It could be for freaking Top Chef. Yeah. The whole point of the course is just to identify a course that's like good for you. And then also, if you wanted to, it's to make a career out of it. Mm -hmm. um, so I would recommend the people that just want like a little taste, try the mini course, but like the full course with all 65 lessons is available too. Yes. Um, yeah, get that today. Yeah, yeah, so it's out today. So um, <laughs> click the link in the description here. Um, Another thing that you never really talked about is that you have some good stories in there. Of, oh, there's, like, there's yes, some anecdotes and yes. He loved the stories that, that I so, told. Yes. I would give like examples and lessons and I'd be like, this is why you shouldn't do this and this is why I did this and this is why. It's a lot of stories that I've never heard before. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, that's like good stuff. We should like talk about all from the podcast. network that no one knows. <laughs> yeah, so exactly. if you're interested, like, or you've always wanted to try out, you're like, okay, like I've already, maybe you're in the casting process, then you should definitely take the course mm -hmm. if you're like, almost in finals, you should definitely take it. Yeah, and I'm like a person where, you know, when I when I was getting through that process and stuff mm -hmm. like that, if there was something out there like this, I would just do it because I'd like 100%. to know, I'd like to see all the information in front of me. Like, I, I want to know exactly well, how someone's been through it. And you know? if you're going to go on the show, you're not necessarily a super fan. You don't know all this stuff and you don't have time to dig up the information. Yeah. This is like one-stop shopping. Exactly. Literally. No, there's it's a huge value. Thanks, absolutely, McCray. Absolutely. Um, the two other things uh, before we go. Do you have a favorite fast food? Yeah, Chipotle. Okay, all right. Just yeah. wanted to get that on record. I'm hungry. I'm or <laughs> <laughs> there's a new crisp and greens coming out by my house. Oh really? And you know I love that one. That's all salads, you guys. It's you only Minnesota. That. It's by Chris Humphreys, who, if you are into pop culture, he was married to Kim Kardashian for like two days. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's He good. owns Crispin Greens. Oh, That's who owns the restaurant. I thought yeah. it was Crispin Glover. Crispin Greens? That's no, <laughs> Crispin Greens. It's Sorry, a it's joke. a it's a restaurant chain dumb of joke. salads owned by Chris Humphreys, who was married to Kim K. Is, do they have the their symbol is the and? It's just like a salad. A it's just a, yeah, if they have any Dinah, yeah. they have it in Maple Grove and now soon to yeah. be Lakeville. Well, we're gonna have to try we're gonna have to try it. Review, <laughs> it, review it on this podcast. Um, my final question is what would your sob story be on Survivor? My sob story? Oh, gosh. That's a hard one. And that the sob story comes up in cast, and I go over that in my course, oh, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, if, it's too, if it's information that you give out on your teachables, don't say It is information that I give out on my course, because the sob story is so important. They're looking really for is. a story. I was thinking about it. And What's my, yours? Because I know mine. Yeah, mine, I was thinking about it, and, like, you know, I get out on the island. Mm -hmm. I'm there. I gather up my cast members, yeah. you know, and I'm like... Like, you guys, I I was really worried about saying this to everyone, but I thought I might as well just get it out yeah. there. Um, I, in 2013, I was on Big Brother 15, and that's it. That's my soft story. That's your story. soft story? <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't want you guys to associate me with any of those <laughs> monsters. Um, yes, it took a toll on my life, and uh, now I'm here, so. Like, I didn't get, bask get asked back for All-Stars because of that <laughs> shit. Because, yeah, I had to serve, I had to be with Andy Heron. That's that's enough reason to put me on a new show. So do you hate Andy, or do you love him? No, I don't. I'm indifferent. I like to make fun of him. Yeah. And, uh, no, I, th I used to think that Andy would be a good friend, but he's not a he's good not friend. He's not a good friend to you? He's not a good friend to anyone. Really? Like, and that's not me just saying that. Like, he's not a good friend, like, period. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know him that well. He's always been very supportive and very kind to me, so I can't really say anything bad about him. I won't say anything bad, but uh, yeah, he's just not a good friend. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> so, I feel uh, that way about Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I think we've talked enough shit about everyone. Yeah. Um, or have we, though? Because I really feel like we, we could do another we could, half hour. Oh, we really could. Should we make this half hour <laughs> podcast an hour? No. <laughs> well, um, so we won't be back next week. Maybe two weeks. We'll see. Play it by ear. Make sure you follow the Die Room Open Mic uh, Twitter account and yes. Instagram account because I'll be posting on there just to keep you guys updated. And you guys, don't forget to hit like and do not forget to hit subscribe. Absolutely. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.